Hey guys, Ender Taco here. Um, I thought I would want to make a video of, um, yeah, my store system that all of you guys have been wondering how to build. So if you're wondering how this works, or if you already know how this works, I'm just going to tell you a little again. So, say I want to buy a bow, alright? I throw me a bow in there, or an iron I mean, because it costs an iron, and I get me a bow. See, I just bought myself a bow. So, also, if I want to buy an iron sword, I could throw two iron in here and get me an iron sword. Now, the, I use these for my faction maps. You can use them for other things if you want to make a little shop and survive them. I don't even know if you want to do that, but um, this is for faction pl faction map makers, if you want to make a faction map. Now, there's different ways where you can make the players get money. But the way I do it is I have it so that way they go and kill mobs. Or if you have keep inventory off, they can, you can kill other players for their money too. But the main way to get money is to kill mobs and make different make different little trade systems like this for different mob loot. The one I made was for zombies. So if I get, let's say I kill, I don't know, and I get four, I get four rotten flesh. So I can come right here and throw in my rotten flesh. One, two, three, four. As you can see, I got four gold ingots. Now, if I want to turn in my... Because these, these costed iron. So if I want to turn in my gold for iron, I can turn in two gold for one iron. Two. Wait, what? Alright, this seems to be a little bit of a problem here. Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. Let me just fix something real quick. That's that's a little bit of a blooper. <laughs> All right, now my iron dispense to me. Just so you guys see it again, I'm gonna throw two iron, two gold in here, and I got another iron. So then I can use this iron to buy. Let's say I'll just buy two more bells. Why not? So that's how you make your faction server shop. All right, so let's go on into the tutorial. So in this build, you're gonna want to build dig down four. Or if you want to build it up like I did and make a little path, like I'm like a little, I don't know, stairway up to your store, it's fine. But I'm gonna start at the bottom and build my way up. So you want to get out. So any block that these these people will not be able to see these blocks underneath. And you want to get out all these things. Actually, I'm gonna put them down for you. So you're gonna get out a block of choice, a comparator, a hopper, redstone, redstone torch, repeater, dispenser, a chest, and you're gonna want to get out any slab. I'm gonna use stone. These are the blocks you'll need. And, and, let's see, I'll make the shop, because I made it out of iron over there, I'll make it, the building blocks around it, iron. There you go. So let's get on to the build. So what you want to do is you want to start at the bottom and build one, two blocks like this, with a repeater going into this block, with the torch on top. Then, you're going to want to get out your redstone dust and put a dust on top of this block. Come up one diagonally and put a redstone dust on top of this. And then you're going to want to come up a block on top of the torch, a block next to the torch, and this is where your repeater is going to go, right here. Then you're going to want to put a block on top of this hardened clay right here, with three blocks like this, or two blocks, three blocks in all. Then you're going to go on a, oh, then you're going to, then you're going to want to put a hopper after you break this block and put a hopper facing that block like that. Then you're going to break, no, you're not going to break. You're going to put a stone slab underneath this and break this block right. Then you're going to put a comparator facing into that block. Alright guys, so basically this is almost done. Then after that you're going to want to put a chest underneath here with a hopper going to the back of that. This is the cash register where all your money is going to go. And if you're going to run this for a while, you're going to want to empty this from time to time and clear it out creative or whatever you want. Because a lot of people will buy this and eventually if this cash register gets all full, you know, it won't work anymore. So you're going to have to empty it every now and then. So this right here is going to be where your your you know reward that you're going to want to get. Like if you want to buy iron, your iron's going to go in there. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of iron ingots in here. There you go. So I'm going to buy some iron ingots. Actually, no, wait, no. I'm going to make it some buying uh, mm, buying a bow. As because right now this is going to be the one that costs one item instead of two items. All right. So yeah. Then, let me just get out my iron 
iron block. Maybe I should have done that a while ago before I started the video. Alright, um, just build around this like that. Any block, these are the blocks you'll be able to see. Alright. Now, this is the part that seems a little bit confusing to everyone. So, if you're going to make... Here, let me just make a little thing on the side. Did I do that? No, I didn't, actually. I'm going to get out my hopper, my redstone comparator, and my repeater. The, you don't have to build this. I'm just showing you a little thing. So, if you're going to want to make your item cost one. So, pretend this these two blocks right here are the comparator and the hopper right here. And this repeater is the hop, the repeater underneath here. So, if you're going to make, want to make it cost one, say one iron ingot. It's going to cost one iron ingot. You're going to want to put 1, 2, 3, 4 in the first slot and 18 in the first slot. So 15, 6, 7, 18. That, and once you, once you hit 19, it'll make the comparator activate. See the comparator activated? Take one out. The comparator's not no longer activated anymore. Wait, why? Well, actually, it is, but <laughs> it won't power a thing. It won't power anything above it. So, yeah, and you're going to keep it on one tick delay. If you're going to want to make it cost two items, you're going to want to do the same thing. Except you're going to want to put the repeater on four ticks all the way like that. And you're going to want to put, instead of 18 in the first slot, you're going to put 17 in the first slot. You just put 17. There you go. That'll make that work. So if I'm going to make this cost, um, this is going to cost one iron ingot. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, and actually it's 17. Let me get one more out. It's going to cost, it's going to put 18 in the first slot. Like this. And then you're going to want to... Actually, yeah. You buy a boat. Okay. So, because this is the hopper you're supposed to throw things in. And people can just go into the hopper and take this iron ingot. People would use chests like this. But then you can just look in the side of the chest like this. And just still get the items out of there. So you want to use a hopper like this. So that way when you throw it in there, it works. Now, if you throw in the wrong item. Say, I'm paying with a chest. I'm paying with whatever this. It will not work. It'll be in here still. So you want to pay with an iron ingot. So I'll throw an iron ingot in there. It'll activate and I'll get my bow. So yeah. This, yeah. So yeah. And everything is going to be dispensed into this chest right here. Right now, there's a, there's one iron ingot in there. But if I go ahead and buy another one like this. Throw it in there. Get my bow. There's one more in the cash register. So there will always be one in here. But everything else will empty out in here. So let's just like, oh yeah. And here's another thing. If you're going to want to, let's see, I'm just going to make this cost like, I don't know, non-stackable item. So I'm going to make it like, I don't know, I'm buying a diamond block. Like, I don't know why would you want to make a diamond block cost one and ink it, but this is like, you know, a little tutorial. So if I want to buy this, say that works. But if I want to throw it all in there at once, um, it will not work. It'll only give you one more block. So you're going to want to throw it in and wait for your reward. So throw one. Wait, throw one, wait till you get reward, throw one, wait. See, I just got five blocks. But if I just throw it in there, so if, I'm going to throw 48 in here. Wait, it, actually, it has to drain all the way, but as soon as it's done draining, I'm actually going to get only one diamond block instead of 48 diamond blocks. Did that work? I'm <laughs> not too sure if it worked yet. But yeah, I'll only get... Yeah, it's draining. Only one popped out, see? So you're going to want to only throw in one at a time so if you're going to run this shop you got to put like a sign that says oh well you can only throw in one at a time or else you get chipped out of your money like i do so yeah you can use this this little creation for factions in your store and yeah i hope you have fun using this if you want to see an ex actually you know what i'm going to show you an example of it i'm going to show you my factions world all right, guys, so here I am in my factions world. Endercraft is my most prized possession. Um, you're going to want... Oh, actually, no, I'm not going <laughs> to... The store section is right over here. See, store. And this is how I organize my store. So I have each and every one right here. This is... Everything on this side is selling, so all the mob loot is right here. Yeah, coal. Even stuff from, like, the nether and stuff is right there. I added all of it in. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it in the end. And everything you can buy is over here. So I can buy emeralds, diamonds, iron, lapis. I can even turn in. So if I have an emerald, let me just get out. Let me go into creative mode. So if I have an emerald, actually, wait. Uh, actually, I didn't give a tutorial on this one yet, but it's getting changed. So throwing an emerald in there, 
and getting two, but I will give a tutorial on that later. Maybe a different video. Let me leave a comment if you want to know how to make that one. But so here's the experience points. Throw in two lapis. Get splashed with experience points. But um, here's buying the weapons and stuff. Oh, I also really need to go over one more thing. If you are making it so that way you're buying swords or stuff that doesn't stack up very well, you're gonna want to. Um, there's a lot of hoppers underneath there, but it's if you're not gonna if you're only gonna make like a diamond sword an iron sword not gonna be that work much work. So let me just find the diamond sword or whatever. Where is it? All right, here's a diamond axe. Okay, so you're gonna want to make the hopper lead back like into a chest. Like I have a little very very complex um, hopper system, but yeah. You're going to want to have a chest on the outside where you can fill up all these items. Okay? Because then your your store will just run out of run out of money. Like, not run out of money. Run out of prizes all the time. And then you'll have people texting you saying, Oh, the store's not working. I just paid for something and I didn't get it. Well, that's why. Because you don't have enough stuff in your, in your item dropper. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll actually be showcasing this map. Maybe in a couple days and all, so you can see this whole complete map, and I'll even give you tutorials and different things and how to make it in here, different redstone things and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in another in the next video. Peace out, guys.